Puma have become the official kit sponsor of the PSL champs for the new season. But it's not just the kit that got an overhaul. Sundowns would take on the 2016-2017 campaign under the leadership of Sompo Kekana. It's going to be a very challenging for me because it's a new task for me. I've never been the, the captain of this uh, huge team before, but I'll take it for the challenge and I'll, I'll try to learn now and, and, and see what I can do for the team. Gekana is a much respected member of the team and is often turned to for direction from younger members. So the leadership role is not new to him. Being a captain is just a title. It won't take away um, the person I am and it won't be any different. I think we all know our responsibility as players and me as a player, I know my responsibility in the team. I'm going to be dealing with a lot of professionals and they, they understand the game and uh, it's going to be easy for me to, to be their leader. Sundown's previous two captains, Audi Scoot and Ramachwem Patele, both won PSL titles as leaders of Bafana Bas style. Gekana is determined to follow in their and other Sundown's legend's footsteps. I would love to see myself um, as a player winning uh, so many trophies here at Sundown, like the great Mambush also lifted the trophy before. So it's a massive experience for me to, to step in and try to, to do well for the team. Uh, all I'm hoping for is to see myself and the team doing well for this season. From a photo shoot of highly tuned athletic bodies to a program designed to retune, the Sundowns technical team have embarked on a challenge to get themselves into shape and they have three months to do it in. The Mamelodi Sundowns version of The Biggest Loser has everyone at the club spinning, literally. I think looking at some positive benefits in and amongst the technical team, all the guys that are involved. Firstly, a lot of the guys are ex-football players themselves and then they go into coaching and they, they get a little bit lazy and their body composition kind of goes a little bit uh, pear-shaped, as, as we like to say. So getting the guys a little bit of a wake-up call, um, any good, healthy lifestyle sometimes needs a bit of a kickstart. So this is a great little kickstart for all of the guys. Hopefully at the end of it, we've improved everyone's health and quality of life, which will be the main one. Another benefit is image. The image of the technical team is directly related to the club. I think a, a fit and healthy technical team portrays the way we do things. We set high standards here at the club for our players and it's a good thing if the, the technical team can follow suit in that. And then the last one that we've already noticed is the camaraderie that it's building. A little bit of banter here and there amongst some of the, the members. The players have got wind of the little challenge that's going on and they're they following it quite closely as well. So it's, it's just quite a nice team building, um, positive, healthy, beneficial thing to all the guys involved. Um, and to the club itself, I think. But with a technical team of different shapes, sizes and ages, picking a winner after three months is going to be quite a task. They're going to have to develop a Duckworth Lewis method of fitness in order to crown a champion. We've got a set protocol that we use for monitoring our players' body compositions. That's designed specifically for footballers. So that wasn't going to work with certain conditions of certain members of the team. So what I've done is I've taken a number of measurements of the guys, both girths and certain skin folds that were feasible to take. These then go into quite a complicated formula and basically spits us out two numbers. One is a muscle mass percentage and one is a body fat percentage. A challenge like this works twofold. Some of the guys are a bit bigger and have more fat to lose and some of the guys are a little bit thinner and their best chance is to increase muscle mass. So we'll look at both of those traits. The person that improves overall across both of those platforms will then be declared the winner at the end of it. It'll be all down to numbers at the end of the day. And off to a different set of figures. The players and coaches took some time away from preparing for the season ahead to attend the Jenny Button Show at Johannesburg Fashion Week. A welcome response from the stresses of top flight football. Football players, there's too much stress in football. So things like this, fashion shows, they relax you. You know, this will relax the boys and see some other things instead of looking at football every time. It feels amazing to be a part of such a great production. Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, supporting Dr. Precious and her vision in fashion. And it's really an honor to be a part of it. This is the second one. This is the second one that I think I'm going to enjoy. I, I'm looking forward to the next show. It's very important to me as a, someone who, who likes fashion, come and have a look and experience something different because I don't normally do this and um, I'm happy I'm here tonight and I uh, just want to experience something.
You know, the show is nice. As footballers, we really need something like this uh, to learn more, a little bit more about fashion. Uh, so it's not about football anymore. It's about life in general. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to, to experience life. The Jenny Patton show was amazing, full of color, full of versatility. I mean, the jackets were made out of Zona blankets. I mean, that is my heritage. That is who I am. So it was lovely seeing our culture being embraced in such a beautiful platform. And I really enjoyed it. It was announced that day that Sundowns was ranked as a top club side in Africa. So more calls for celebration for the newly appointed Sundowns skipper. I'm very proud as a Mamdouli Sundowns captain, Mamdouli Sundowns player. I'm very, very proud to be part of the team that has been you know, nominated as a number one in, in Africa. I think it's true hard work and I'm happy the boys have carried themselves very well. And I'm happy to be part of uh, their team.